Long ago, a climber by the name of Emil decided to put on a weighted vest to see if it could improve his power during a phase of training dedicated to improving said power. He set out the goal to exist in a 20 kilogram weight vest for a total of nine days. Now this would put him at 100 kilograms in total and the idea was that when he would take the vest off he would suddenly feel like a feather in the wind and simply float up the bouldering walls. The only problem that he quickly encountered was that 20 kilograms is a f ton and it quickly became obvious that this would be a massive challenge. <laughs> <laughs> In this video, we'll take a look at the lessons that was learned from training in this for an entire week and also, you know, the pros and the cons. And we're going to dive into this and try and figure out if this thing is, you know, bullshit or good for you. But first things first, this video is sponsored by the wonderful folks over at Crimped. Now, I've worked with Crimped a lot in the past, you've seen them on the channel several times, and it's a training app for climbers, essentially. There's a lot of my workouts in there already, if you want to check out the app, ranging from drills for a complete beginner to expert level climbing, as well as my daily hangboard routine. And you can check out all of these for free. But I'd also like to add that they've added a new feature, which kind of allows you to create a very, you know, <laughs> free-formed training plan for yourself or at least a free-form workout and that's what I've been doing during this week because my workouts have been quite different from what I usually do so being able to use this feature that allows me to you know kind of free-form my training has been incredibly helpful throughout this experiment I have a lot of fun projects coming up with Crimped over the coming year one they've helped us out with a research paper on the no-hang protocol which is going to be released in a little while and uh, there's some fascinating stuff going on over there and Crimped's well, we wouldn't have found it out if it wasn't for Crimped. So make sure you go check out the app. There'll also be one person getting a free lifetime membership with Crimped in combination with this video. So make sure you download the app and you'll have a chance to win that. And now let's dive into the training I've been doing with the Vape West. So I was smashing through the easiest grade and I just felt like a complete god. And then I started doing the red ones, uh, and well, you could call them shred ones, because I was just shredding them up. Same goes for the black, which is kind of like the middle tier grade. Um, they also went down right away, but I did start to feel the weight on my shoulders, you could say. Lastly, it was the white grade, where I started getting shut down on basically every single move uh, that I tried. After a while, I found this one with red holes, and this quickly became what I wanted to be my project for this week. The difference is perhaps a bit tricky to see, since it just seems like I'm almost letting go. But in reality, just because I couldn't produce enough force through my fingers, I kind of couldn't generate any proper momentum. And it was hard to feel any sort of flow in my climbing when this started to happen. So after the first day in the vests, it kind of proved that this was actually really fun to train in and I wanted to see what the coming days would have. But first, I wanted to show it to the boys and see what they had to say about it. All right, Nick, and you're trying the weight, weight vest. How does it feel? I feel powerful. <laughs> it's like the bane, like the vest, it's like this. Just walk around and be like, you didn't know the weight till you were a grown man. <laughs> I was born in it, it. <laughs> molded by it. <laughs> So yeah, it'll be cool to see like uh, what kind of crazy things we can come up with. But uh, campus, getting everyone going on this. It's, it's, uh, even Tio is on right now, getting ready to try out the weight. It's so. All right, I'm gonna try the campus with this on. Yeah, my one. Oh. Ah! Just gotta max out that shit. Dude, my session is done. <laughs> I'm like so tired. Come on, Mickey. Oh, damn. Yeah. How was that, man? 
Ah, uh, dude, it's like, uh, it's, it's, it's hard in a strange way. It's not the same as strapping weight to yourself and doing pull-ups. It's like, you don't, <laughs> like the way you move and like the way you generate force, it feels the same as when you're normally climbing, but you're just like on mercury. It's just like <laughs> fucking crazy. I feel like if you had macro holds, you had a spray wall that was all big holds, no risk of injury, this could be like, uh, Game changing. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, Cody, Cody, can you put this on for a second? Yes. <laughs> I've been thinking, I've been thinking this through, and I have a method to put this on. So, <laughs> all right, let's get Eric in for moral support. The brain slicks on. I'm not sure what's happening, but I think it's a weight vest involved and some futuristic approach to get it on. Okay, I'll put my shoes on. I'm worried because I have to squat down and up, but I think I can just like collapse on the ground. <laughs> I think Cordy will do very well on jogs. And she's looking extra athletic these days. Yeah, can you see my abs? They're like... Yes, anyways, no, I'm not confident at all. And, uh... But is this the first time? Wait, was it lifetime? Yeah, I've never managed to put one on. Well, I'm excited. Why though. should I? <laughs> I guess we'll, we'll know in the end of this video if it's <laughs> worth or not. Okay. <laughs> yep. Yo! Yeah, come on, keep that. <laughs> come on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm stood like that. Thank you. I can feel your presence. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel you would like to train with it more? If no. you would lower the weight, let's say five kilos. No, I feel this this thing. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Cole is really selling this uh, this video for you, Emil. I'm sorry. You really don't have to do much more than this, I guess. <laughs> I'm just gonna try climb with it, cause then it's 107 kilos or something. God damn. Let's experience how this is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. But. 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 Nice. <laughs> I, I, it's nice. <laughs> I love this stuff. Because you feel like an anime character and then you get like some <laughs> extra power and get psyched. All right, session two is underway. Uh, the goal is to get more accustomed to the weight vest. Uh, so I'm going to try to kind of do the boulders I was working on last session in different parts. So I want to do the red one in two parts, but I'm definitely getting more used to using this, this thing. Second half is done, um, not without a fight, but still, that's a lot of progress and yeah, just from resting and getting used to this thing. So I think I'm starting to learn how to climb in it, which is cool. So I guess the next step will be to go from the bottom and try and do it into that position. some heavenly good progress. I mean, falling off the last move is way quicker adaptations than I expected, or not adaptations, but you know, getting used to the movement. Um, and I feel like I climbed okay. I was just climbing as if I was a lot heavier. <laughs> like I didn't have as much grip strength and I had to rely much more on like precision and, and execution, uh, which is kind of what I want from this, like training power on like boulders that are at an e like ADC level, but you can just push them up with this weight thing. But yeah, definitely another attempt to try and get a white one done because that's kind of what I set as the goal for the week so if we can do that maybe we can push it way further uh, in, yeah in the coming days
Thanks, yeah. Oh, sick. Well, that is some, some very interesting progression. Uh, not that it felt easy, but it felt like not limit, which is really cool for such a quick, you know, uh, progression ladder. So we're gonna move on over to training now instead and do some physical power stuff and get a bit stronger, which is, again, the purpose of all this. So, yeah, let's do some campusing. After day two of this climbing in this thing, I was completely sold that this thing would help me push myself hard. So I decided to do something a little bit different for day three. I was gonna do a volume session today, but it was such a beautiful day, sun's out, so I wanted to try some outdoor climbing with it. So there's an A day behind me. That's actually the first A day I ever did. Uh, kind of powerful, but on good holds. And it's gonna be an interesting process trying it with the vest. Okay, so without the vest, it feels fine still, but that I was expecting. Um, this is kind of the crux of the boulder, so I'll try that a few times with the vest and see if I can do any of the moves. Honestly, not expecting to. If I could do the moves, that would be kind of crazy. Uh, but yeah, it's a fun challenge. So yeah, let's give it a burn. That was surprisingly good. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I'll give it a few attempts. That was fun. I had a good time. Oh, all right. That was, I missed the left hand quite a bit actually. Rest up and try and do that. Psyched. So close. I'll just give it a few more attempts, but still that was pretty sick. But I'll try starting from there, do it to the top and then get the sand. Yeah. <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right. The weight that was going through my left heel was like five times as much as on the first attempt, which gave me full control to move up to the jug. I'm a bit, uh, we have to leave in like five minutes. So I think maybe this will have to be a project for, maybe for the end of this video, if the weather stays as nice. But yeah, this is the end of day three of training. So tomorrow, maybe a little bit of volume and then back on this later on in the week. So like, ooh, fuck. After the outro session, I felt like a complete freaking tank, like nothing could stop me. And I went for a volume bouldering session the next day. And it turns out I was incredibly wrong. I got completely destroyed on most of the moves that I tried and I decided to call it quits quite early on and instead do some regular power training at the end of the session. Campusing and that sort of thing. Yeah. But after a while, I started to feel really worn down from that as well and went for some preventative gym exercises. So I want to give a quick shout out to the JM Press that's kind of helped me create these indestructible elbows. Uh, and yeah, to all my tendonitis homies out there, definitely try this exercise out if you want to bulletproof your elbows. But anyway, I took a rest day and went back for day five of training in the vest. Okay, I think this is day five in the, in the vest and Matilda has been uh, hustling and getting me on way harder stuff than I'm intended to climb. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, scream my ass off on some moves and then surrender and try some easier stuff. I think that'll be the only boulder I show for today. That was uh, almost max effort. And uh, I tried that on the first day, couldn't do the second move. So some major progress happening. 
although everything is still incredibly heavy. But yeah, psyched about that one. So this session ended up being 45 minutes long, which is about three hours less than my regular session, two hours less. But like the complete deranged human being I am, I decided to head outside for the final day of using the vest. We're on session two on the project. Um, it snowed a lot, which was surprising, but it's still all right, I think. Um, it's kind of like this light snow that I think if I brush it off the rock, it should be fine. It might get a bit wet at the top, so we'll see if I do the top out or not. But the goal is to try and climb the boulder. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's get going. I'm gonna warm up and give it a whirl. My knee is a little bit tweaky, so I think I'll only give it like a few attempts. Well, the last thing I want to do is injure myself. And I think one of the big lessons from using this weight vest thing is that it's freaking heavy on the hips when you walk around in it a lot. So I think that's where the knee thing is coming from that, you know, I've been like, my hips and legs are stiffer than they usually are. All right. Okay. It's brutal. Okay. Oh, fuck. All right, guys. It's been a rough eight days of, of being in this thing, and it's time to call it quits and discuss the pros and cons of a vest for training. So yeah, let's have a chat. So quickly, before we touch on the pros and cons of using the vest, I want to discuss the thing that just happened because I was overreached with this with the training I've been doing it's it's the point before you reach overtraining before you get symptoms such as like depression and and you know fatigue and all that uh, and if you keep on training like this if you keep on training when you basically can't have any proper sessions you inevitably reach a point where your body just deteriorates and you're screwed for a long time um, so I think with anybody who's trying to like push themselves, this is something they'll encounter in their training and you need to take a step back, relax. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna continue using the vest for a little while, even though I'm in my power phase, because I need to recover and make sure that I have enough energy to actually sustain my sessions. So yeah, I just wanted to point that out because I think if you've been watching this video for this long, maybe you're thinking, oh, it'd be fun to try, but be careful, be really careful with your training, regardless if you're using a vest or not, and make sure you don't get too tired. Anyways, that being said, let's dive into the pros and cons of using this fun little tool for training. So number one, you look and you feel like a badass. But in all seriousness, I think this is really good to incorporate into campus training, as long as you're not overdoing it. And I also think you should probably add a little bit less than I did. So I would say like 10% of your body weight is probably a good level to add. Um, it does help you, you know, get like more power into your sessions without having to do really big moves and, and you know, catching things extended. So I think it gives you more control over your training overall because uh, you also learn to hit that level. Like you, you'll notice when you're fatigued, you'll notice when your sessions have just been too long. But for me personally, I don't always do that. And with the vest, I, it was so clear. As soon as, as soon as my session should have been over, my body was just like, oh, you're out. It help, does help you understand your body a little bit better and how, tra like how tired you actually are. And that's it for the post. Now for the cons. Number one, you look like a douchebag. <laughs> I think it's also very easy to injure yourself when you're wearing this thing. It's, it, it, if you're not very perceptive, if you're not listening to your body enough, just a slight mishap, just overusing it a little bit and you're gonna be screwed. Um, so yeah, you definitely need to be careful with it. I also noticed that my movement pattern as a climber was just heavily disrupted. And when I took off the vests and went back to normal climbing, I was just, you know, like f my fit feet were slipping. My body was like tensing in weird directions that I usually don't. Uh, I was basically, I couldn't apply proper technique. Uh, not to say that I'm the most technical climber in the world, but the little technique I had was suddenly gone. <laughs> and what was left was just pure power. And that isn't actually so good for actual climbing. It's good for doing powerful things like 159 on the campus run. But for, for, you know, this specific 
Like to apply it to climbing, you need to do things very differently and use the vest a lot less than I was. But I guess that's it for the cons list. Uh, I just want to answer the question, who should be using this? And I think if you're a person who wants to push your training in a new and unique way, I do think it's fun to train with a, with a vest. It definitely, like for climbing commercial boulders in the gym, I had a lot more fun than I might usually do. So uh, that goes on the, you know, if you want to spice things up, that's a good usage for it. And obviously if you're trying to do powerful exercises and you want to change the level a little bit, it's kind of like adding weight to hangboarding, but applying it on a campus board instead. Um, just bear in mind that when you increase the load, especially with weights, you also need to be more mindful on how much you're actually pushing your body. But anyway, that's all I have for you folks. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to check out Crimped and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace, my homies.